Welcome all to SST College of Arts and Commerce. This is SST Edupedia. Myself, Assistant Professor Yogesh Patil from the Department of ITHCS. Today, we are going to learn the topic for class TYBSC Computer Science for semester 5 and the subject is Artificial Intelligence. The topic is Introduction to AI. Friends, what is AI or what is artificial intelligence? Is it making computers that thing or is it the automation of the activities that we can associate with human like thinking or like decision making and learning and etc etc or what is mean by if it is an art of creating machines that can perform the functions that required an intelligence when it performed by the people or the human being or this is a study of mental facilities faculties through the use of computational model what is mean by artificial intelligence there are a few more questions for ai that is is it a study of the computation that make is it possible to pursue reason and act by the machine or a field of study that seeks to explain and emulate intelligence behavior in terms of computational process or a branch of computer science that is concerned with the automation of intelligence behavior or is it an anything in computer science that we don't don't yet know how to do it properly so what is mean by ai or what is mean by artificial intelligence so Today we are going to discuss this, what is mean by artificial intelligence. So before that, let us discuss few areas of AI and we will discuss some dependencies of AI. As you can sir, see in the diagram that we have search and search is associated with the logic. If we have some logic or if we have some uh, knowledge representation, it is depending upon that here is we have few components like machine learning or planning and nlp vision robotics and expert system so these are the area of ai and all these area is depend on each other as you can see if we say that we are going to use a natural language for the example if you are working with an or if you are talking with an Alexa or a Google Home Mini so we just say hello Alexa or hello hey Google then they say they gives you a greeting like hello or hi am I right so they are representing their knowledge in a natural language in the language which human knows now they are they have updations they can react on regional language like Hindi or Marathi or Hindi etc etc so we can create a vision as well we can planning the machines can learn itself the robotics or uh, we can create a robots which can work uh, at themselves so these are the different areas of AI so how we can classify AI there are four basic things which has been divided into a two different things like human and the rational and the second one is thoughts and the behavior if a computer or a machine thought or behave like a human then can we say that it is an artificial intelligence so if I am creating a robot and I am asking her, that robot to cross the road and if the robot is crossing the road it is acting like human if I have created a game of tic-tac-toe or a cross world or sudoku and if I ask or a chase and if I ask my computer to work or to play as an opponent and it also it also try to win the game 
so it, it is acting like a human is that so as you can see we have four component like uh, acting humanly thinking humanly acting rationally thinking rationally this describe that the machine or the system which we have created it comes or it satisfies the artificial intelligence so the system that act like human it for that what we have we have a turning test a turner it has or it given a test to the computer and when they ask few questions to the computer and the answers that they receive they can say that that machine is acting like a human being after finding the results so the art of creating machine that performs functions that require intelligence when performed by the people okay we can say that the study of how to make a computer to do the things at which at the moment people are better wherever the people can act at its best or a better level the machine is acting like same so we can say that the machine is acting like a human so what is mean by acting like a humans so you enter in a room which has a computer terminal and you have fixed a period of time to type what you want to type into the terminal and the study studies that replies at the other end of the line is either human being or a computer system if a computer system and at the end of the period you cannot reliably de determine whether it is a system or a human then a system is deemed to be intelligence so if you can take an example that i have placed one dark glass and opposite of that glass i have fixed one machine which has a voice bot and if i ask some questions from this side and from the opposite side of the glass a machine is reacting and it giving an answer in a human voice and as a person if i am not identifying that whether it is a system or a human so in that case we can say that the machine is acting like a human then the system that act like a human the here the tuning turning test approach has come it gives a question a human question or cannot tell if there is a computer or a human answering his questions and the computer must believe intelligence behave like intelligent and intelligent behavior to achieve human level performance in all cognitive tasks it achieving the best human replies it giving a best human replies okay so these cognitive tests include natural language processing for the communication with the human then knowledge representation it used to store the information effectively and efficiently then automated reasoning like uh, to retrieve and answer the questions using the stored information as well as uh, machine learning that is nothing but to adopt a new circumstances so uh, the total turning test it includes that the two uh it has two or more issues like computer vision and robotics so as we can say in a computer vision it uh, perceive the objects that is nothing but a seeing and robotics it is nothing but an acting so seeing it gives an input and robotics or a object which are moving or replying is nothing but an acting which is an output of the machine then the other approach where we can say that the system that thinks like uh, human we have discussed that how machine can act like a human but before acting we have to uh, think that how machine can think like a humanly so human as observed from the inside if we say that the human how the human thinks we have to for example in any condition what will be the psychological effect on human and how they are working on the best at humans first so there are two different thing that uh, interception versus psychological experiments so the cognitive science says that the new existing new efforts to make computer things machine with mind in the full and the literal sense and the automation of activities that 
we associated with the human thinking activities such as decision making or a problem solving or learning and etc etc all these can be done with the human or uh, sorry with the machine just like thinking humanly then the second thing is machine that thinks rationally so what is mean by thinking rationally it is the nothing but a law of thoughts uh, what if a human are not always rational is it is that so yes many of times human not thinking rationally they may get emotional in certain cases so what is mean by rational rational is nothing but it is a logical terms that logic can't express everything it is an uncertainty so the logical approach is often not feasible in terms of computation time and the study of mental facilities through the use of computational models the study of the computation that makes it possible to pursue reason and act for that we are creating this and the next that is nothing but an acting rationally so acting rationally is a thing where a rational behavior taking place how we are doing the right thing we are thinking rationally and we are acting like a rational thinking rationally and acting rationally both are the different things i know that ethically and rationally i have to do the task a but by influencing the emotional or uh, psychological theory i am using or i am preferring as a human being if i am preferring the task b then it is not uh, it is that i am not working or i am not acting rationally but in artificial intelligence or in the machine level we can say if the machine is thinking rationally 100% chances that machine is acting also as rationally so the right thing or uh, accepting or doing right thing is nothing but a acting rationally so rational agent doing the task that which is expected to maximize goal achieved given the available information then it giving an answer to the question is an also known as an acting then there there is the system which says that i don't care whether what is the system it replicates human thoughts process it replicates or it gives or it makes some decisions as a human but they all are purely logical reasons for example if we say that if we consider any logic and only per one part of a rational agent is not all of the rationality so sometimes logic cannot be reason a correct Cons uh, conclusion and at this time some specific human knowledge or information is used and thus it covers more generally different situation of the problem and machine thinks like that and machine takes that decision so compensate is incorrectly reason the conclusion so there are some machines which act rationally like if we study ai there are we have two advantages that it is more general than the logic only because logic plus domain knowledge it uses both what is logic and what is domain or what is an information i have with us in the program or in the algorithm or in the database ai use both things then it allows extension of approach with more scientific methodologies so rational agent is nothing but an agent which has uh, an entity that perceives and acts then uh, as you can see the function f that where the probability p star always trying to act humanly or as well as act rationally and now as you know that what is mean by artificial artificial is nothing but it is produced by human and it is nothing but an art or effort and it rather than organizing rationally uh, naturally so ai in ai we can say artificial it has been produced by 
human with his knowledge with his technique and it's not natural and what is intelligence intelligence as we all know it is an ability to acquire knowledge and to use that particular knowledge at particular level or in a particular situation so creating a system which use intelligence that is nothing but an artificial intelligence so we can define an ai as ai is a study of ideas that enable computer to be intelligent or we can say that ai is a part of computer science concerned with design of computer system that exhibit human intelligence and this uh, this definition has we have uh, taken from oxford dictionary so from all of the above two definition we can see that ai has two major roles the very first that study the intelligent part concerned with the human and represent those action using the computers so we can say ai has basic goals like to make computer more useful by letting them take over dangerous or tedious tasks from the humans and to understand principle of human intelligence so this is all about artificial intelligence thank you friends